Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today and I'm going to be showing you guys the room where I make $1,200 a month. If you do want to see the routine video for actually how you can make $1,200 a month, I'll leave a link on the screen and also in the description. Basically, we're going to start with all 30 phones or roughly 30 phones. Then we're going to move on to my money making computer setup and my network setup and just a few other things. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I have about 30 phones right here on this uh, desk setup. It's actually a dresser, basically. I just used it because it was in this room. Before. And I did shuffle around since the routine video a bit. I did sell the iPhone 5C I had, and I also acquired two LG Zone 3s, I believe is what they're called. So those are pretty good for money making. The wire management isn't much different from my last wire management video from about half this number of phones last year. I got reusable wire ties that are Velcro and those are just taped down so I can keep the wires in place but at the same time shimmy new wires in easily if I need to. The only wires that can't be shimmied in easily uh, are the 30 pin cables, but I'm just about done with those. Those are on the way out. Down here at the bottom, I got all my USB hubs. I got a 14 port right here. Got a 10 port right here that I had for over a year now. And I got a five port anchor hub and then a 10 port anchor hub. So we have plenty of ports here, probably more than what this current uh, dresser can handle. And then maybe when I get more phones, I can add another level. The only downside to this new setup is the fact that this camera right here doesn't have a ledge to sit on. It was so natural before because I could keep the camera above and add like a separate level. I've got a timer down here. I made a video about that on Wednesday. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link on the screen in the description. Just very good to keep your iPhone batteries or your Android batteries more conditioned rather than keeping them plugged in all the time. Kind of helps with bloat. I also was thinking about adding a fan actually so I could uh, keep the phones cool. I don't know. I'd set up a, a little stand here or something. Maybe I can move the dresser over a bit and have the fan blow on all the phones to remove heat. As far as the cables go here that I'm using, basically the same stuff. I got anchor cables, stock cables, and then cable matters cables. They all go down, plug in here. Over here at the desk, we have my money making computer. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out what's in that. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got an Intel 4790K processor. Real nice, really good at making money, and I also edit the videos on here. There is an Apple sticker on the front of this because it is running El Capitan. The reason it's on Mac is because, well, I just love Mac, and it is Hackintosh, so I build it. And there is that process to make your custom built PC actually work on Mac OS X. And then over here I got Mackie Studio Monitors 5 inch. This in fact is the only thing in the room along with a few pieces of furniture that I have not purchased myself. This was a Christmas present a few years ago. On top of the one Mackie Studio Monitor there is an audio box. This is actually what's processing the audio signal right now and then I'm using the Shure SM57 microphone and the Audio Technica ATHM50. Over here we got standard network equipment. Same stuff as last year. Really nice router. Asus RT68U. But this a little bit over a year ago it's still working great the motorola surfboard modem great still working for me these devices this uh this network equipment and the computer are all hooked up to the ups for battery backup everything else is hooked up to the ups as well except for the macbook charger i believe which is uh, running to my 13 inch 2013 macbook pro are hooked up to the ups it's just surge protection however so the only things that are battery backed up is the network equipment and the money making computer and this is very important because if we have a power flicker then it will prevent everything from just shutting down completely and jeopardizing the whole process. The internet here continues to work when the power is out and it'll keep this stuff running for about 30 minutes. The UPS system powering all this stuff is a CyberPower 1500 VA and I think this is the biggest one I could have bought. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's crucial that the computer remains up because it's how I control all of my devices. I very rarely touch the phones these days. I just do everything by VNC and this money making computer is the gateway since I don't like port forwarding everything so this is basically it this is the room where all the money making happens i highly recommend you guys get your own room if you don't have one for your money making stuff you call it the money making layer or just call it an office because you know the, this stuff really generates a lot of heat in fact when i walk in here you can tell that the room temperature just goes up instantly even if the ac is on so if you have your stuff in your bedroom you know like if you're a kid like i am then you you have all, you, normally it's, it's natural for you to keep that kind of stuff in your bedroom uh, but at the same time Time, it just kind of gets uncomfortable so I recommend you try scouting out a room in the house if you can I plan on posting a picture of this room at night I think it'll look pretty cool maybe I can get it into the video just all the lights kind of make it look like a village or it just you know looks like the lights of money so anyway uh, stay tuned for that be sure to check out the routine video if you haven't already if you have any questions you can contact me through Facebook Twitter send me an email and I'll talk to you guys later with more money making videos
Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today. I want to talk to you about 